Greetings and welcome to the Shed Sturgeon Show. On today's show we have, taking a short break from his otherwise empty schedule, the self-styled rap star Floppy D. So how many rappers does it take to eat roadkill? Two ladies and gentlemen, one to tuck in while the other watches the road for traffic. Just joking. And now it's my great pleasure to introduce the one and only Mr Floppy D. I'm glad to be here, Shed. I'm glad to be alive. Move to the rhythm, Shed. Groove with the jive. Now, Mr D, there's almost nobody's heard of you. Why exactly am I interviewing you? You don't need no reason to interview Flappy D, because he is the man you all want to be. OK, Mr D, actually, do you mind if I call you Floppy? Floppy is my name. I don't answer to no other. My father never liked it, and neither did my mother. Right, Floppy. You say that you're the man who everyone wants to be, and yet you appear to be a midget with a head made from a computer's A-drive, which, as we all know, is a defunct technology. A-drive? Why, that's only a part. Don't judge a man by his pieces. Judge a man by what's in his heart. Judge a man by the rhythm of his words, not by the curve of his turds. OK, Floppy. Now your first song, What It Ain't, was so unpopular that Waste Life Fun were forced to pull it from YouTube. It got less hits than the coconut at a carnival. Frankly, it was a flop, Floppy. So don't you think that changing your name from Floppy Disco to Floppy D is just pure opportunism? Your attitude shed lacks flattery. Can I deduce you got it in for me? Don't mean to threaten or make you uneasy. But when Flappy D gets up tight, he come over a lemon squeezy. I see. Now, Floppy, uh, by lemon squeezy, I presume you're implying some kind of violent retribution. Your grasp of my ago is truly impressive, because the pain that you will feel will be seriously oppressive. Your pompous style is beginning to jar. With your slimy tongue, how did you get this far? Well, I'm not here to answer questions about me, Floppy. We are here to talk about you and your own triumphantly lacklustre career. Will you be writing any new songs in the future? I don't write no songs. I find them like a treasure. When the time is sweet, I will share the pleasure. I see you don't actually write songs. I can believe that. In fact, you just seem to string a load of random phrases together and make sure the last words of each one rhyme. Not exactly poetry, is it, Floppy? I had no poet shed and never claimed to be. Poetry is for the cultured, those with your kind of education, those who can perceive the subtle evocation. Flappy D is just a rhymester, a punster and a funster. I don't mind being uncouth when I'm searching for the truth, because I am the real deal, not some chat host spoof. Point taken, Floppy, OK. Just one final question. How many rappers does it take to change a light bulb? Don't take none, shit. The answer is stark. Because there ain't no rappers afraid of the dark. OK, Floppy. Well, the time has come now for you and the diskettes to perform your latest feeble fanfare, Plastic Fantastic. Show some love, ladies and gentlemen, for the delightfully deluded Floppy D and the diskettes. <laughs> I'm so good, 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 I'm so this crazy town, girls are on the lamb. Now the news is finally out, I'm in love with Palavin Pam. And all around this dirty hood, angry lads get shady. Sick and jealous that I kiss the one and only sexy Sadie. And everybody everywhere took a flaming pill. But I roll up at a major show with a freaky bungalow bill. It's not just that I'm hot, I'm totally incandescent. I don't just illuminate. 
I'm positively fluorescent. I'm a synthetic, sympathetic singularity. A plastic, fantastic, super entity. I ain't just Flappy. My name is Flappy D. And I am the man, the man you all want to be. Don't need to hide behind no pseudonym. Don't need to build me a body in no steroid gym. Don't need no style correction when I go on TV. Well, I'm afraid due to time constraints we had to cut you off there, Floppy. But it's probably just as well. If we want any more shallow, self-regarding, inane drivel, we'll invite a real celebrity. Next week, we will be talking to the prominent American banker, Alan Capone. I shall, of course, be asking a question on all of your lips. Just how many bankers does it take to screw in a light bulb? The answer, I suspect, will once again be none, because the bankers have sold all the light bulbs, mortgaged the receipts, and foreclosed on all the sockets. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to get used to the dark. This has been Shed Sturgeon saying thank you and farewell. Judging from the audience response, I thought that went very well, Floppy. Is that right, Shed? Well, read my face. Went about as well as a turd in space. Do you talk in rhyme all the time, Floppy?